Support for this podcast comes from Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Does your day last all day? Keep your skin dewy, soft, and smooth all day. New Neutrogena Hyaluronic Acid Serum quenches skin with two sizes of hyaluronic acid, dermatologist-recommended glycerin, and vitamin B5. Just apply in the morning for fragrance-free hydration that seals it in for 24 hours. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Stay dewy, soft, and drenched in hydration. Learn more at Neutrogena.com. Empire. Rest and recovery. That's all we've done in 2020. Uh, Kobe basically gave us advice on the aesthetic of the product. He said, hey, you know, this works really well, but it needs to be designed like this so players can use it. Hey, this needs to be a little bit more user-friendly so you can really get engagement from fellow NBA athletes. That's Jim Heather, CEO of Hyperice, who knows when the world returns to normal, his company has already shifted to the new normal. This is the Future Sport Podcast. I'm Brad Weinstein. Ways to move better. We could all use that in a time when we've been cooped up for months. For athletes, this technology is the holy grail, but for Jim Heather, and his company, Hyperice, the challenge is growing the market, but it's a challenge that they're winning. Our guest this week is Jim Heather, who is the CEO at Hyperice. And while the world has shut down, his company is booming in the recovery and movement enhancement technology space. Hi, Jim. How are you? I'm doing great, Bram. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, I, and listen, I can't start any conversation without asking you, how's life in a pandemic for you? What's going on? Oh, I, I appreciate you asking. It, it's been, um, it's been interesting. You know, I obviously have a, a family at home, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. So that's been, been fun. But, uh, you know, it's been, I, I think it's really tested every executive's creativity and ability to, to lead. And, you know, I, I enjoy that challenge. I think that it's been a, a difficult year from a market environment perspective, but we've been very creative and outside the box and the team's done a tremendous job battling through and staying positive. And your company has had an outstanding year. Um, you had already had partnerships with the NBA and Major League Baseball and UFC and the PGA Tour. And now the NFL joins on as a official recovery technology partner. Just broadly, can can you just kind of talk about the state of your company here in 2020? Yeah, it's been a it's been a very transformative year for us. Um, I feel like we took the approach when the pandemic hit that we were going to stay aggressive and um, really move forward. Our mission as a company that wants to help everybody on Earth move better and live better is, is a very big mission and a very important mission. And uh, we just decided, hey, this is a great opportunity for us to, to get a little more aggressive, get ultra creative, think outside the box, uh, find partners who can think with the same innovative mindset as us and help elevate the brand to, to new heights, not only in the U.S., but globally. And those partnerships that you mentioned with um, all the professional sports leagues, I don't think there's ever been a company in the technology sector that has you know, formal partnerships with all five of those organizations. And each one in its own capacity was was different and innovative. And uh, there's a lot of elements of those partnerships that um, I think were formulated through a, a new level of creativity around technology to advance recovery and mobility. So we're really excited about all of them. And the NFL being the newest, I think, is transformative um, in the sense that we're able to not only help with athlete longevity and performance, but also extend that to the NFL consumer. Um, and the NFL is really behind that mission. So we're really excited about it. So can you be specific? How, how are the relationships different between leagues? Yeah, great question. So in, in every partnership, we really looked at how can we, how can we elevate the game? And I know that that term sounds a little cliche, but we really are impacting the game in a positive way. So, for example, with the NBA, a big component of the partnership was integrating our Hypervolt product courtside so that the players would be able to optimize performance in-game. And, you know, of course, as everybody knows, sometimes the best ability is availability. And we looked at the partnership and said, how can we really optimize player health and performance so that 
athletes were able to perform at their highest level, which benefits everybody, right? Benefits the player, benefits the team, benefits the league, benefits the networks, and of course, benefits the brand. Um, so that was the first league partnership that we had ever done from a global standpoint and kind of unlocked this new courtside accessibility with technology that's never been done before. Um, PGA is interesting. We actually, for the first time ever, um, created a new rule change with the PGA Tour where the Hypervolt can be used on course to attach to the golfer's bag. So in, in that instance, we actually, you know, technology and the importance of health and wellness created a complete PGA Tour rule change for the athletes, which has never been done before. Um, so all of the different partnerships just had some really key elements, but the main factor was how do we truly improve the game? How do we truly enhance recovery and optimize performance so that you know we can experience a better game and a better uh, state of play? At its core level, what do your products do? Our products are, are really, you know, at a high level, they're designed to help you move better, right? They're designed to reduce soreness, reduce stiffness, increase circulation. Um, help the body move more freely, help the body move more fluidly. Um, so all of our devices, you know, we look at a holistic approach. We have a category for thermal technology, percussion technology, vibration technology, and pneumatic compression, which we call dynamic air compression. All different ways to manipulate the body so that you can optimize movement and performance. Um, so in a nutshell, that's, that's what the products do specifically. And clearly, you have a lot of high-level athletes across a spectrum of sports that are believe in what you're doing and are investing in what you're doing. Naomi Osaka, the great tennis player. Ricky Fowler, the great golf player. There's a ton of basketball players, football players. Patrick Mahomes, the, self, the surfer Kelly Slater is part of what you're doing. Um, how did that kind of grow? Did it happen organically? Did you approach them? How did that work? The, the relationships happened organically from a perspective of all of those athletes that we engaged with were um, active users of the products. So Naomi Osaka has used our Viper product for two to three years. Um, Patrick Mahomes used our product back in 2014 at Texas Tech. Kelly Slater has been using our technology for actually since the very inception of our company in 2011. Um, has been using our ice compression technology. So there's always an authentic story. And then when these athletes found out, hey, this is a fast-growing brand in a really fast-growing overall health technology sector, um, there's an opportunity to invest in the company. Uh, they all jumped on board, which was, which was amazing because we felt that there's no better connection with the athlete than when they really believe in the company and they really believe in what the products can do, not only for athletes, but for the everyday consumer. Um, so it just, it kind of snowballed. We had um, a variety of athletes that worked closely with the brand and always had the authentic roots with pro athletes since, you know, the Kobe Bryant days when he helped design our first ice compression technology product. We continued those relationships and they evolved into, you know, an investor relationship with a lot of these athletes that's really deep and meaningful. Um, go back to the Kobe Bryant thing for a moment. How, how did he help you develop something? Uh, Kobe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so Kobe was involved in the very early stages. The first prototypes of our ice compression technology were sent to Kobe. Um, our founder, Anthony, had a great relationship with Kobe and his trainer. And uh, Kobe basically gave us advice on the aesthetics of the product. He said, hey, you know, this works really well, but it needs to be designed like this so players can use it. Hey, this needs to be a little bit more user-friendly so you can really get engagement from fellow NBA athletes. And his attention to detail was really important in the early stages because that those contributions helped shape the final design, which then was accepted with the greater NBA basketball community. And, of course, one of the really exciting things about the NBA partnership was it really was, you know, the company's DNA full circle coming into effect in, in a meaningful partnership. Kobe was the first athlete. Um, Blake Griffin was the first athlete investor in the company. And the NBA was our first league partnership deal on the global side. So 
there was a lot of authentic roots there and um, just a great connectivity with pro athletes and leagues. Well, just so I understand, was it aesthetic that he was talking about, that he wanted it to look a certain way because it would be appealing to athletes? Yeah, it was more of the way that it fits, right, and the way that it feels on an athlete. So um, standard ice bags at the time were not very ergonomic. They were leaky. Um, you know, they were tough to wrap around the body. Uh, they were cumbersome. They didn't look good. And, you know, his advice was, look, this has to feel really comfortable. It also needs to look good, right? Because athletes care about how they look. So we need to, we need to find a way to integrate technology and the technology that we had developed, make it aesthetically pleasing, make it comfortable, make it look good so that it could be appealing for, for the everyday athlete. Um, and so he was continually involved with, with uh, different products and such just as a product tester, so to speak, for four to five years um, throughout the company's history. And it was a really exciting relationship that we had with them. It's like you guys turned into the, uh, like the Beats by Dre of recovery products. It's like, it's amazing, really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. There's, there's a lot of people that, that make the same association. Um, we love that analogy. I think Beats did a great job on culture as yeah. well. Um, we're really working hard to, to kind of affect culture in a meaningful way. And um, one of the exciting things about Beats is they were a consumer electronics product, and then they lost, they launched their app, their Beats Music, their software platform, which was incredibly valuable. And there's a lot of similarities there because we, we obviously have our hardware products out there in market, a couple million out there in the world. And we've just launched our hyper smart technology, which is our um, connected device platform that pulls uh, activity data from wearables and then provides curated recovery routines. So we're we're now entering the software. So I love that analogy. <laughs> That's a great one for him. <laughs> <laughs> you're not quite Dr. Dre yet, but you're you're heading there. You're working on it. Uh, <laughs> not quite. You're working on uh, it. Um, I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm on my way. Support for this podcast comes from Goldman Sachs. Through Launch with GS, a $500 million investment strategy grounded in the belief that teams with diverse leadership drive stronger returns, Goldman Sachs remains committed to facilitating connections and increasing access to capital for women, Black, Latinx, and other diverse entrepreneurs. Learn more at gs.com slash launch with GS. You have these products that, that work, obviously, for your clients, and but we're yep. talking about you know highest of the highest levels: Kobe Bryant, Naomi Osaka, Patrick Mahomes, people like that. Um, you had mentioned through the NFL partnership that, that you see an avenue here to get to um, the everyday athlete. Um, what's the future look like for Hyper Ice as you try to expand um, away from the highest of the highest level athletes? So, so when we started with professional sports, the reason we did is we knew that the teams would be spending the most money and resources on the best physical therapists, the best physios, the best performance experts, the best technology, the best resources to keep their multi-million dollar assets on the field or on the court, right? So we knew that if we could create credibility within that environment with some of the leading experts, scientific experts, athletes, et cetera, that you know, we would have products that would be fantastic for the everyday consumer. So over the last five years, the company's missions evolved from, you know, working on just recovery and optimizing performance for athletes into what you mentioned. Our goal is to help every human on earth move better and live better. And it's really exciting. It's a really exciting time right now because a lot of people don't really understand what's going on in their body, right? In your car, you have a check engine light, you have a gas light, you have an oil light, all these different elements that give you indications about what's happening in your car. We don't really have that on the human body. So there's a whole level of discovery that's going to be happening over the next, you know, 5, 10, 20 years around, you know, the human body and how do we optimize health and wellness. And we want to be at the forefront of that thought, innovation, and leadership. And our products really, we believe we can help everybody on earth, the everyday worker who might have a little bit of lower back pain, um, the FedEx worker, the pilot, um, the person at home is taking his kid to Little League and just wants to get up and feel a little bit better um, and have more energy. That's the core market for Hyperice. Um, that's really what we're trying to uncover 
and we think it's a very, very big and lofty challenge, which which we're going to attack full force and achieve. So I, I did not think I would ask you this because I really wanted to talk about the products, but considering where this conversation has gone, I do want to ask you about marketing strategy then, um, since that is a big yep. part of what we do here too. And I could see the through line of how you thought this through. We get credibility with these leagues and these major athletes. It will therefore give us credibility in the marketplace for people who either aspire to be Patrick Mahomes or are the everyday weekend warriors who just want to feel better when they exercise and do whatever they do. Yep. Um, that said, as you know, we're in a different world where that advertising and messaging isn't as simple as it used to be. So now that you have the credibility and you're trying to bridge that gap to get to a larger audience, I don't know if you could share this, but how are you trying to go about that? Yeah. Fantastic question. And you know, you're, you're right in the sense of these athletes in these leagues, the, one of the reasons that these partnerships are so valuable in addition to optimizing health and performance for the athletes was they're committed to being part of the positive change in educating the general consumer. Because if you're a general consumer and you're an NBA fan or you're an NFL fan and you learn about some new technology that Patrick Mahomes or LeBron James is using, right? The secret weapon that's in the training room now is accessible to the everyday human. And that affects your life in a positive way. You're going to remember that association from the league where you experience that recommendation, whether it be, you know, an advertisement on you know, an NBA game or whether it be um, something on social or digital or Patrick Mahomes social. If you're learning about tech use to optimize health and performance, wherever you learn about it, you're going to have a you know, an emotional connection, an important connection with where you learned about that. So we, we're very careful and deliberate with partnerships we created to make sure that there is strong alignment there, that the NBA truly cares about their consumer and the NFL truly cares about making that health tech connection with consumer. And that is, that is the case. And um, our marketing strategy around this is, is highly predicated on generating awareness teaching people about their bodies, teaching people about the importance of health and wellness and how technology can improve the way they feel and the way they live. Um, and we're doing the same thing globally. So we have, we just created a partnership with the Tottenham Hotspur in the UK and we're telling a really meaningful health tech story around the athletes and their trainers and how that resonates into everyday life. Um, we just did a deal with All Blacks the New Zealand Rugby Club, that um, similar tone. We're, we're teaching people about how technology can improve performance for the everyday individual in the workplace and at home and whatever it may be. So a lot of, lot of exciting elements to the marketing strategy with the end goal of really affecting the general consumer who cares about health. Yeah, I, I just, it, it's interesting because, you know, back in the day of essentially personal endorsement, which you're somewhat doing here and somewhat not doing here at the same time, but, but you are, um, yep. the athletes endorsed all sorts of things that were very generalized. And so I do wonder if totally. you're seeing success here because you are doing something that's very specific and not all the LeBron James fans actually exercise that much. So I wonder if you're seeing yep. the results that you were looking for and if you're reaching the audiences that you're trying to reach. You would actually be surprised, um, and we did a lot of research and development about um, specifically the, the PGA, MLB, NBA, and NFL audiences, and there is a large percentage of health tech consumers in those buckets, um, very, very large, and, and our core customer is you know the Equinox user, the Orange Theory user, the Peloton rider, right? those are all people who really care about their health and wellness and um, are engaging in platforms and, and fitness communities to, to advance their position. So many of those individuals are MLB, NBA, PGA fans, right? NFL fans. So we've, we've really dug deep on our marketing strategy to uncover those audiences and to use their affinity for professional sports but communicate to them in a way that they want to be communicated with. Um, and I think it's been very effective so far. And again, these partnerships are very new. So there's a lot of exploration around our marketing strategy, but it's been really, really fun 
um, to just uncover and discover all these new insights around our audiences. And the other part is, is the content that you're creating, which you, you've talked about now. Um, and you mentioned Orange Theory and Peloton. And obviously, you know, with the PGA Tour, everybody's watching that plays golf. So you know who you're speaking yep. to um, when you're talking to them. All of the content typically is around the actual exercise or the game itself and improvement there. You're talking about the other end of it. So is yep. this nascent? Um, do you have competition in that space where you're trying to educate and monetize recovery? Yeah, well, so, so it's really interesting because our products and technology actually elevate those experiences. So if you're going into an Equinox, and you're engaging in a class at Equinox and you're utilizing our products and you have a little bit better circulation and you're recovering more effectively and your body feels better, right? You're going to enjoy the experience at Equinox more thoroughly. You're going to engage in more classes because your body is recovered. Um, same thing with Peloton, Orange Theory. You know, if you're a Peloton rider and you're using our technology to recover faster, you're taking more classes, you're engaging more within the Peloton bike, you're on their, you know, media platforms more frequently, that's valuable for Peloton, right? Or in theory, same aspect. So there really is a mutually beneficial value add for technology elevating recovery and elevating the experience in which the member is participating in. So it's a win-win for everybody. And that's, that's one of the reasons we have so many great partnerships with, you know, at home fitness concepts, uh, in studio fitness concepts is because it is mutually beneficial. It's very cool. Um, all right. Last thing. Um, what are you guys working on? What, what are the next products that you're excited about that will be coming down the road? So we have so many product innovations coming now. We, <laughs> right before this call, it's actually on a, a product innovation call. And, um, you know, we, we develop a lot of products that never actually see the light. So we're constantly in stealth mode, testing products, looking at new technologies, looking at new companies we could potentially acquire, new technologies we could acquire. Um, we have a couple things coming out mid next year that'll be really exciting that are new. Um, we're also putting a lot of resources into our app, um, which is, you know, I mentioned our hyper smart tech, which connects into Apple Health, Strava, and Garmin and pulls your activity data and then provides you specific routines, kind of an early phase element of AI um, where we can, can learn a little bit about what you want to do and, and what your activity is and be really precise around what we recommend for recovery, almost like a kind of a wellness coach on demand. So we're investing heavily in that technology um, and advancing at a pretty rapid pace. So the future state of Hyperice is, very exciting. It will include both hardware and software. It's really interesting. Jim, thank you so much for the time. Jim Heather is the CEO of Hyperice. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. That was fun. Appreciate it, Bram. Support for this podcast comes from AT&T. All right, so there are a lot of reasons to like AT&T 5G. Check this out. My friend Lisa, who is a professional race car driver and base jump wingsuit enthusiast, likes AT&T 5G because it's fast. My friend Terry, who's a bodyguard who once also wrestled a hyena when he got too close to his client on safari, likes AT&T 5G because it's secure. And my friend Sasha, who's a librarian and hasn't missed a day at work in 27 years, Ooh, not even that time she broke both her legs and had the measles, likes AT&T 5G because it's reliable. Switch to AT&T 5G. It's fast, secure, and reliable. And now nationwide. AT&T 5G. It's not complicated. 5G requires a compatible plan. 5G may not be in your area. See att.com slash 5G for you for 5G coverage details. On the next Future Sport Podcast, a couple of Duke football players turned a project of helping teammates protect injuries more comfortably into a company that may change the way all injuries are handled. We're capturing 3D scans through an app for iPad that uh, we've developed and how to be used by them to... Uh, capture the scans and they just submit it like by pressing some buttons on an iPad like to take a video and then we can get to work very quickly uh, modeling a 3D model work direct still work directly with the athletic medicine professionals by showing them 3D rendering digital 
images of the models online before we print it out and make sure that the model looks perfect to them. That's Kevin Guessman, CEO of Protected. He and CTO Tim Skapak will join us to discuss how an innovation on campus may change training rooms everywhere. That will do it for this episode. As always, the future is now. This is the Future Sport Podcast. I'm Bram Weinstein. The Future Sport Podcast is brought to you by 3Advance, developers of sports tech apps that are AI-powered and UX-focused. So if you're looking to create some apps for your startup or your sports biz calls for some artificial or business intelligence, you should check out 3Advance. They're incredible. Go to 3Advance.com. That's the number 3Advance.com.